Veganism isn't about being perfect. It isn't about being superior. It's about looking beyond ourselves, thinking about how our choices affect others, and choosing to live as compassionately as we can. It's about doing the right thing in a world where apathy and injustice is the norm. And veganism isn't a diet. It's not a religion. It's a lifestyle. And it's easy. Right now, all around the world, animals are in trucks on their way to slaughterhouses. Buildings that we've carefully constructed so that we can systematically kill. And they're terrified. Okay, that's about as far as I can go. I can't help but detect a complete lack of empathy for their fellow man. Let me give a little advice here. If you're thinking about going into veganism because, and if you're honest with yourself, you feel a void in your life. You feel as though you're lacking karma points, or perhaps you want a sense of belonging. You want to be part of some sort of activism. Well, how about you go to your local soup kitchen, volunteer a couple hours every week? How about you buy a sleeping bag, and when you pass a homeless person on the street, you get out of your vehicle, you approach them, you shake their hand, and you just hand them the bag. Go to your Target, Walmart, or what have you, buy a bunch of toiletries, toothbrush, toothpaste, t-shirts, underwear, socks, and then you go to where homeless people congregate and you just hand them out. And you don't have to film yourself so you can get anonymous kudo points from internet strangers. Just do it anonymously. And you're going to feel a sense of compassion you'll never believe. You're going to see the eternal gratitude expressed instantly from these people that are less fortunate. And then you can ask your friends to join you and you can develop into a social group that does good for others, that has compassion to their fellow man. Especially, you know, in a world full of apathy and injustice. Just do what you can. Just a little advice before you jump off the deep end or jump off into the deep end. So, uh... In response to this, I've got crappy editing software. <laughs> Can't be bothered to really make it a, a feature film or intricate production, but I've got a response of my own. Cheers. As I watch this time-honored tradition of grilling steaks outside in the elements, how to gauge the temperature of your meat, what to look for, and exactly how to place the meat onto the grill so you can get those perfect sear marks. I can't help but remark on how delicious all of this really is as the fats start to melt. I can almost taste the juiciness 